my best wishes for all the women in this universe on this International Women's Day. Let me take this opportunity to share my success story in the field of HR, which I am very passionate about. In the year 2006, I entered into the field of HR, wherein I was given the opportunity of handling the white collar employees. It was really a very, very challenging task for me, having come from a technical background, and every moment of it was a learning. As a woman, I believe there are few skills that we should possess to become successful in our lives. Number one, the power of thought. The power of thought, as we all know, for each and every one of us, in whichever position we are, in whichever place we are, it is all on the thinking process that makes us what we are today. I hope every one of us will agree on this. To give you an example, when I came into HR, my thinking process on handling the HR functions has grown me to this position of what I am today because I felt nothing is impossible and handling people of different ages, different genders, of different experience, all these were gave me a lot of learning and I was inspired by many employees which has further motivated me to excel in my areas. The support from my top management and the team was very very significant because of which I could handle many challenging areas. In continuation to this I also handled the industrial relations part which was handling the blue collar employees. That was totally a different cup of tea. This is where I had an opportunity to understand the psychology of workmen, the way the workmen will think. I would like to share a very small example. I always feel that I have contributed to the organization where I was. When the companies are in tough times, that is where it will be a challenging time for us to really showcase our capabilities and ensure that employees are in harmony and they understand the situation and go along. So the employees and the management, we had several tough times wherein I had to discuss a lot with the employees. I had to make them understand the situation of the company in a way that it doesn't touch their egos and finally I could achieve it without creating any turbulence in the company. And secondly, I would say the next important skill would be positive attitude. Positive attitude in the sense life has its own twists and turns wherein we lose our energies when we get into problems. We should understand that every problem has a solution and always be positive about that we can sort out the problems. And thirdly, opportunities. Opportunities are in plenty before us. Many of the times, we all feel that we don't get good opportunities. Had I got a good opportunity, I would have definitely done better. I would have definitely reached a better position. But there are plenty of opportunities in front of us, which I believe we should tap and make use of it. So with this, I think I've given you few tips of how to become a successful HR person. Thank you so much and I wish you all the very best and success for all of you. Thank you.